Officials from Texas Tech University, the Department of Energy, Sandia National Laboratories, Vestas, and Group Nyer were on hand Tuesday to commission the Scaled Wind Farm Technology, or SWIFT, facility. West Texas has become the center of wind energy, and Texas Tech University, in conjunction with our partners from Sandia National Labs, the Department of Energy, Vestas, along with our collaborators of Group Nyer, is a leader in wind research. What we're doing in wind energy uh, we will see in 10 and 10 and 20 and 30 years from now, it will have a huge impact on our energy consumption uh, throughout the world. The SWIFT facility is the first in the United States to be built to study wind farms instead of individual turbines. It has three V27 turbines that will produce rapid cost-efficient testing to help researchers learn how larger wind farms can become more productive. Five, four, three, two, one. Of course, we're here to celebrate the opening of this facility. We really think that this is truly a unique facility that's going to be here for many, many years, providing information that we have not been able to gather uh, ever. These machines today are incredibly reliable. They're very, very efficient. Texas Tech has been on the forefront of wind research for decades. It is home to the National Wind Institute and has the only PhD program for wind science and engineering. Their commitment to wind energy, their commitments to the students, their commitment in workforce development in terms of ensuring that the next generation of employees out there are equipped to be uh, a part of this industry is, is really remarkable and it should be commended. The SWIFT facility could one day expand to nine or more wind turbines. The SWIFT facility here today is going to be an integral part of our future. This is Lacey Nobles for Texas Tech Today.